Guys, today it's our last day in Magic Kingdom. Liam, are you sad? Yeah, I am very sad to be leaving. Oh no, it's depressing, isn't it? Sorry guys, I think this is going to be a soppy vlog. This will be a sad vlog today. Oh. It honestly is, guys. Always sad times when it's your last day in the magic. But anyway, this is going to be a happy vlog. There's going to be no soppy music. I'll try and not put any ones in anyway. We'll soon find out. But anyway, guys, if you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Dalamo. And if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. And let's explore Magic Kingdom. I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And guys, it's a hot day in Magic Kingdom. It's currently 32 degrees. Me and 55 minutes currently. So we're walking towards Haunted Mansion now. We um, obviously were using Liam's DAS Pass. But if you would like to know more information about DAS, I will link it below. You'll be able to find loads of information on there if, you, if you're eligible for it. It's 32 degrees currently. And I'm um, already getting DMs on Insta of you guys saying how hot it is. <laughs> This is cool compared to last week, but it's still really, really warm here in Magic Kingdom. And our first ride is Haunted Mansion. And this is our first time doing Haunted Mansion in the daytime. I've not done it in the daytime yet, so this is my first time. Well, yeah, Liam has, because he came here early one day. I was too busy chilling. Actually, I was working. I was editing for you guys for the cruise vlogs. But yeah, I'm literally... Oh my God, I love Haunted Mansion. I know so many of you love this ride, so... Yeah, it's so good being here. Oh my God, look at the size of this thing. Oh, would any ears like that land on you? Look at it, look at it, Liam. It's massive. Oh my God. I wanna know in the comments, have any of you guys worked out how this works? How do they do it? Do you know how it works, Liam? Right, well, don't say anything because we don't want to spoil the magic, but let me know. How do you think it works? Oh, this is scary. Oh my God, look at her. She's terrifying, guys. Absolutely terrifying. And we've actually just currently broke down. And I'm by this, like, you can't see it because it's so dark, but I'm literally by a coffin. Like, there's a coffin literally to the right. It left of me just moving. And uh, yeah, it's nice when it breaks down, isn't it? It's always lovely. The best bit of breaking down on this right is when you go backwards. Oh my god, it's so nice. Oh my god, look at that, she's popped out the coffin. So guys, we've just got off Haunted Mansion. It, honestly, we'll tell you all about it in a sec. But we're in Columbia Harbour House, and I think I'm actually going to get the grilled shrimp skewer. This is right up my street, so this comes with, obviously, prawns, rice, and greens, be uh, greens beans. <laughs> Green beans, this is quite healthy for me. One of the things that's really good about doing Haunted Mansion is obviously you're outdoors in Magic Kingdom. There's a lot of time you're outdoors. But then you get to go in there and it's dark, it's full of aircon, and it just gets you out the sun, which is always a pro, especially when it's like 31, 32 degrees. But to be honest, like I say, the heat isn't too bad at the moment for us. And this is the food. Look at this. I think I know where I'm going to be eating more, more often. This is perfect for me, guys, because I can't eat a lot of carbs with my health, so I have to keep my carbs really low. Now, obviously, there's a lot of rice here, but it's, better, it's obviously better than fries, and then you've got your green beans and you've got your protein. This is literally perfect for me and let's have a taste test look at these shrimps mm. I am such a shrimp fan let me know do you like shrimp and if you don't I am so sorry 
because I know there's nothing worse, but I am such a shrimp fan. Oh my god, Columbia House. I'm waddling now though. I feel like it always comes this part of the trip where you're like conscious because you feel like you're sticking out left, right and centre. Yeah. Say it again. We haven't had much food really. I haven't eaten... Is it, yeah, <laughs> hang on, let's get me words I haven't eaten much food. We haven't really, no. I'm picked out. Guys, let me know in the comments. Do you agree with Liam? Well, actually, I don't know what I've showed you and what I haven't. You probably only see 40% of what I consume. <laughs> Literally, we, uh, nah, we haven't been that bad, are we? Liam's probably eaten more than me in some days. <laughs> the next ride is a big Funda Mountain. And here we go, guys. This is it. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah, it's so fast. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! The drops! Oh my god, Liam looks like he's falling out! Ah! Yeah, Liam looks like. Ah! Liam! Ah! Liam in the helicopter! Oh my god! There's a big gap between his legs because I'm so chunky! I literally stole up! That was so funny! Oh my god! I love this ride so much. It's so oh, we're actually going to say goodbye to Magic Kingdom, but not for the full day, only for a little while, because we're going to go and check into our hotel and then come back this evening. So you guys can follow along. We're checking into Saratoga Spring shortly. But, yeah, it's been such an awesome day, you know. Such an awesome day. Do you know what? Even though we're coming back later on, when you get to this point, you always just feel like, I can't believe we're coming towards the end of the trip. It's so sad. It really is. And you just see everyone just having such a great time. And yeah, <laughs> I love Disney. This is honestly, if, if you want to know why I come back loads of times, this is the reason. This is honestly the sole reason. Because of this. Because of this amazing vibe and community that Disney has. It's unreal. I actually can't believe this, but this will be the first time this trip that we will be vlogging the bus transportation because we've had the car guys we've just made full use of it but we are going to saratoga springs so let's see if we can see it on there so there we are bus number 17 so this is bus 1 to 10 over here so we want to be going to 11:34, and we'll find bus 17. liam was saying before he wished we could get like the monorail or skyliner or something like that but unfortunately that doesn't go to saratoga the only option you have is either driving all the bus transportation and here we go we have found the bus transportation and here we go guys we are at i was going to say disney springs there we are at saratoga springs now saratoga springs is definitely one of those more relaxed resorts here on disney you've got in your deluxe side you've got old key west and you've got saratoga springs saratoga springs is right next door to disney springs and we'll show you our room and stuff when we check in we're staying in a deluxe studio again yeah it's so relaxed here honestly it's so chill we have to be careful when we're walking because there's like lizards everywhere so I'm like having to like like walk carefully in case I stand on one and this is the check-in area the carriage house and there's the welcome home and the aircon always hitch it's the lovely smell Liam as you walk in yeah and we're just checking in now and look at it in here it is so bloody nice and you can see they've got horses on there as well and oh, I love this resort it's the smell in here is amazing you know honestly it's unreal I'll quickly show you this while I'm checking in when you actually check into Disney resorts you will get like which floor you're gonna be and then they'll give you like your room number and then that's the size of Saratoga Springs it's a massive resort and you can see we're actually gonna be in Congress Park so yeah I just thought I would show you this so when you check in any of Disney resorts they'll always give you one of these maps what am I for and it'll give you like a little location like obviously there's check in here and then we're going there hope that helps 2732 so here we go and if you don't have a car then you can ask for your luggage to be brought on this as well and you get transported on these me and Nathan did this last time we stayed here and when Congress Park which is classed as a preferred room because you have the Disney Springs walk which honestly from here it's like a five minute walk to Disney Springs which is always awesome here we go room 2732 Oh, oh, and we're here, guys. So, like I say, we got a deluxe studio. So, we've got our sink there. We've got our kitchenette here. There's the mirror, which nearly just made me get terrified. Look, it looked like people were standing there. Oh, my God. How awesome is this? Then we've got the one bed because we've got the pull-down bed here, which is so good. Oh, my God. It is so nice being back in Saratoga Springs. And then we have the balcony, which we have.
have like a woodland slash lake view, which is just so nice. And what's your thoughts, Liam, on this room? It's awesome. It is really, really nice here. It's so good. Honestly, I love Saratoga as well. And we've got a resort TV, which is always a pro. Ham Resort TV is always a pro. We're going to chill here. We, we need to put things on charge. We need to do a bit of work. And then we are going to head to Magic Kingdom again. So I totally appreciate this vlog's a bit like at Magic Kingdom, Saratoga, then back to Magic Kingdom. But it's the way we want to do it because we wanted to. We need to check in for our flight as well. So there's a few things that we need to do today. So it made sense. But I must say, mind, the more I stay at Saratoga, the more I absolutely love, love this place. And guys, while we wait for our devices to charge, we're actually going to head to Disney Springs. Now, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I did not expect to be taking you guys to Disney Springs in this vlog. No, I'm not gonna lie. I expected us to definitely be going to the room, then head back to Magic Kingdom. But we thought, well, we're gonna give our devices about an hour to charge and then head back to Magic Kingdom again for the last, well, basically for the last goodbye, really, which is really depressing, isn't it? And just a quick one for anyone that's remotely interested. I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed the series with me and Nathan. That was the exact room me and Nathan stayed at in the November series when we stayed here and I'll never forget this room because there's there and then this is the walkway to Disney Springs and there's the entrance to Disney Springs. What I love about Disney Springs as well is it's always like a vibe, there's always like a serious buzz around Disney Springs which I just love. And here we go, we're going in the world of Disney and this store is busy. Yeah. This reminds me of the world of Disney in Paris when the park gets let out and everyone comes in the shop. Yeah, and everyone comes in. And it's so busy. Yeah, it is really busy in here. Wow. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Yeah, this is worse than being a Magic Kingdom for busyness. Like, look what I'm talking about. Oh my god, yeah, this is cool. Oh, sorry, we just stopped. We just stopped there. Look at how it's uh, crazy everywhere. Right. Let me, uh, let me just get some air. <laughs> oh, look at these bags. These are nice. Don't mean I would pull it off, but you, this would set you back $85 plus tax. And I found the cutlery set again, guys. You might remember this from our January series. I was so tempted, but... I don't know. It's a heavy item to take back, isn't it? But we found the Lilo and Stitch bag. This is Stitch. And it looks awesome. Looks really, really, really nice. Also as well, if you want to, uh, <laughs> and I must say when it's this busy, if you want to use mobile checkout, this is how you do it. You do it on the My Disney Experience app and you can check out with your items. And then I think you must just get a receipt and then you go to a colleague or something. I've seen a lot of people use this while we've been out here. I would definitely opt for it when, like I would say there's probably about 50, 60 people in the queue so far. So this would probably save you like half an hour at least, like on today's day. And then if you, want the same bag as me you may have seen me well obviously you have seen me with this because obviously we've got this bag guys if you want this bag you can get it in the world of disney the prices for it has gone up recently so just brace they're now 199 dollars they used to be 139 dollars and uh, now they've got these hand luggage ones in and these set you back 159 let me i said to liam honestly i could do with this but i'm not going to because it's just such a i've already got a hand luggage bag but liam's just trip himself to this bag but he got really good because he got a $50 gift card which brought it down to $150 and then with my annual pass discount it took like another $30-$40 off so he more or less paid the same price as me so if you do have a gift card and then you've got an annual pass or something then it does really really bring the price down but anyway, I think we're gonna head out of World of Disney because it's a uh, it's crazy busy and look at this view we're back at our room oh, the Sun's going down now oh, and Liam this is it. This is the last time we'll go to Magic Kingdom. Liam's feeling really down, aren't you? The fact that it's towards the end of the trip and this. I know, he just doesn't know when he'll be back again. You never know. You never know what the future holds. That's the thing. But we've had such the perfect night. Now, we are going to be vlogging going to Magic Kingdom this evening. I am going to be taking my smaller camera, the Canon G7X. So I'm going to apologise in advance <laughs> about the low quality because uh, obviously this is my big cam and it's uh, the quality on it's a lot better. But I am really gutted. It's always really depressing when you get at this stage, guys. If you trip, you'll know yourselves. If you've been here before or if you're waiting to come, you know yourselves. You get to this stage and it's just a bit... Oh, you just don't want to go. But... Yeah. Do you know what, Liam, though? Obviously, we'll chat more in the morning, 
but we've had the best time, haven't we? We've literally had the best trip. Quick one before we uh, before we head to Magic Kingdom. Your favourite thing we've done so far this trip? Just too many. There's too many. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Do you know what my favourite thing of this whole in trip, in this whole entire trip's been? Everything. Everything. I've loved it. But anyway, yeah, so guys, we're literally on our way to Magic Kingdom, but we thought we would just show you what the roads are like on an evening here at Magic Kingdom. Well, actually, we're not at Magic Kingdom. You know what I mean, on the way to Magic Kingdom. And you wouldn't believe it, right? I think me and Liam have spent more time trying to get this camera working to then now find out that the, the nice orange sky that we had is gone. You can actually see the skyline is actually on the right. The skyline is there. Oh my God, and there's the sky. That's the sky we were trying to show you. It's, it's actually unreal. But yeah, do you know, me and Liam have definitely found, because we've got the car, we're using it a lot more. We're not even getting the, the Disney transportation tonight. It just makes sense to, to get to use the car. And now, guys, the penultimate event is happening. No. Yeah, well, and, oh, I know, no, it's actually the ultimate event, because it's not happening again, Liam. This is it. This is your last time in Magic Kingdom. How depressing. Guys, we're, <laughs> we're coming into the Magic Kingdom car park. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to film a vlog it, because... To be honest, how often, you, you won't see me driving through this very often because, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you just won't. <laughs> I would usually get the bus. Hopefully, so they say that it's meant to be free parking after a certain time. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. No, it actually is, is. free parking. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder why that is, because it's fireworks now. So you, I, I'm shocked that they're offering free parking when fireworks are happening. They could be cashing in these last couple hours. But anyway, we're coming into the TTC, but we thought we would just show you that just because we won't see it again. And uh, yeah, and look at that sky. Oh, by the way, before when I said, oh, look at the sky, I don't mean like, I know it's the sky, guys. I mean like, look at the color of the sky. This is no filter, no edit. I must say it looks better on the camera than it does in real life, actually. Mm. It actually looks better, but, but yeah. Welcome to the TTC, anyway. We are back at Magic Kingdom Liam for the last time. I'm gonna have to stop saying that because this vlog is gonna be so depressing. I know. I know. All I need is like a really sad song, like You Raise Me Up by Westlife or something. You know what I mean? We're not dying. What's oh that? my god, Liam, don't be saying that. It's a vlog. It's a happy vlog, this. No, do you know what I mean? Like just a sad song with some piano. Maybe we need to do like a montage of like all our happy moments. I would do that, but that requires too much editing and I'm over that. I'm over that these days. And we're coming into the park now and it's crazy watching people run like mad. Because as we were coming in, obviously people were running late and everyone was rushing to get in. Never seen anything like it. But here we are, fireworks. Liam's very happy, aren't you? This is it for you, you love the fireworks. Gonna see Tinkerbell fly. This is it. There she is. Oh my God. Wow. Now that's an awesome job. <laughs> we are coming on to Space Mountain. It's currently at a 45 minute queue, which isn't too bad at this time of night. Could be longer. We have seen it longer at this time. And this is it, guys. Space Mountain. One of our last rides at Magic Kingdom. Unfortunately, this is it. Until next time. Oh, I'm gutted. Love this ride. And this is it. Oh my God. I forgot I was back row, so it's faster. Oh no. Oh my god, it makes me feel ill this right. Oh, oh no. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like my head's gonna come off. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's so fast. Oh. I'm so. Ah! Oh my god. I felt like it lifted off. God, this is horrific. Oh, this is so fast back row. Ah! Thank God this restraints. Oh. Ah! oh my God, this is so fast. Well, I survived to live to tell the tale. Oh my God, guys, it is so fast at the back. Honestly, that felt crazy. Liam, your hair's all sticking up. That's how we know it went fast. I know, yeah, it's crazy fast at the back. I just want to quickly mention as well, just before we shoot it, unfortunately, I know, I can't believe we're going, but you can actually see Tron in the background all lit up. The first time I've noticed this, it wasn't like this in March, so it's all lit up now. Hopefully, we'll have an announcement off Disney very soon when that ride will, will be coming. And then hopefully Liam will come out and do it as well with me, potentially. 
Oh my god, look at him moping around. Do you want to wave at the castle, Liam, before we go? Take one last wave. Oh, bye, castle. <laughs> it's an inside joke, guys. <laughs> if you know, you know. I know, it is really sad. But anyway, come on, we've got our pizza on the way. Oh, I do, I'm bloody starving. I must say though, the castle does look gorgeous on an evening. It really does, look at that. Oh, I don't want to go myself. But we have to go! I won't be back soon. Oh, will I? Make sure you stay tuned for another series. <laughs> we'll see, guys, we'll see. Will I? It's like a running joke now. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Bye, castle. Right, come on now, yeah. Let's get let's get back the room. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's the last day. It's the travel home day. Obviously, that's going to be a separate vlog for you. So this is us packing up all the room. Liam, how's your night been in Saratoga? Very nice. He's really enjoyed it. It's a bit anxious though, because it's travel home day, and it's obviously I know some of you guys will feel the same on travel home day. I've told him everything's going to be fine. I think honestly, I always say this to everyone. I think it's easier going home than it is actually coming. I feel like there's just so many things you've got to think about coming on holiday. Going home, all you need to worry about is your passport, your money or whatever you've got any left actually after being here. And um, and whatever else you've got and you just get home. Magic Kingdom last night was so good. We all gutted that we didn't get to spend more time there. The plan was for Magic Kingdom, we were planning on staying there until like 11 o'clock but then I ordered food and then the food, oh you wouldn't believe right, so I ordered food and Uber Eats to then come for later on that night. But then when I clicked schedule for like quarter past 11, they just started making it immediately. But then turns out that they didn't actually end up delivering it until like quarter to 12 last night. And we could have just stayed in Magic Kingdom in the end. However, though, it did take us from leaving Magic Kingdom to get here about 40 minutes. So it probably made sense. I think we only had like 15 minutes to spare. So it made sense to do what we did. But I don't know. We I really wanted to do Seven Dwarfs Mine Train before I left. And I didn't get to do it. So you guys will have to write it for me. And if you do write it, send me some pictures on Instagram of your happy moments. Because I always love seeing photos and you know photo shots and whatever that what, what they're called at Disney these days magic shots you know what I mean photo pass that's it photo pass of the rides it's always nice to see them I get received so many and it's so nice getting them but anyway I can't believe we're at the end of the trip now it is honestly unbelievable I can't believe we're literally finished like it's just crazy it's been such an amazing trip so right now we're going to actually Un I was gonna say unpack the room, I wished. Pack the room up, head to the car, and we're actually gonna to go to Universal Studios and then we're gonna travel home. So that's all gonna be in your next vlog. But I thought just before we go, and I'm gonna do most of the main summaries at the end of this vlog series. But I just wanna quickly summarize things that me and Liam have discussed off cam about things that have cost money on this trip. And there's a couple of things I would just recommend to you guys um, before you come out, if you're planning on doing some some sort of similar trip. I get a lot of DMs of where people are kind of just saying, they just basically want to copy your trip and do the exact same thing. And before you do that, if you want to use any of the advice I've given in, this vlog, in, in these vlogs, one of the things I would definitely say is, Make sure that if you're gonna rent a car, is it gonna be worth renting a car? Because what we found is, firstly, car hire is very expensive in the States at the moment. But the big thing we've realized is, even though we've got a car, and you'll know this from the vlogs, even though we've got a car, we still haven't eaten off-site a lot. And it's not because we don't wanna eat off-site. It's just more of the convenience. So basically, Liam and myself are very, head to the parks in the afternoon, state will close, and that's kind of what we like to do. But by the time it gets to like park closing, half 10, 11 o'clock, it's so late that none of these restaurants are even open. So it's kind of like, we, we've ate at we've IHOP twice or th two or three times, and I can't think of any, we haven't even eaten it. This, we haven't even eaten a cheesecake factory, which I really want to go to. We haven't even eaten a cracker barrel that I really want to go to. There's a lot of places we've not went to. And we have a car. So I would love to know firstly, in the comments, if you've rented a car, have you found you've done this and you've ended up just not even eating off site? And like what a big thing that we've been doing, and I can't believe it because we might as well have just not bothered and just used, used the transport, is we've been using the car to go to the parks rather than just getting a bus, which is free. And to be honest, that's probably more me than Liam because I just think we've paid a lot of money for the car, let's just use it. But I am thinking, in general, 
did we just waste a lot of money getting the car? We, I, I honestly think we did. I honestly think we did. And I'm going to really summarise everything about the car and everything else I would advise at the end of this vlog series. So basically in the next vlog. But I just wanted to say this now, just just because on the top of my head, and we've been talking about it a lot, because when you're renting a car, it's not even just the price you pay for the car. You've then got to think about fuel in it. In the fuel, it's a lot cheaper here than it is to fuel your car in the UK, but you've still got to fuel the car. But the big thing is, is the tolls as well. So you get charged five pound per day for the tolls. And then you've got like, you've just got to think about, well, what type of car do you want? Do you need a car with a sat nav? We had to pay a bit more to have a car with a sat nav, even though we've ended up just using my phone anyway. <laughs> There's a lot of things we're going to chat about in there. This is, I'm really excited actually for the last vlog in this series because there's so much really to chat about. And I'm also for my Patreon members going to do full podcasts on this as well, going in real fine detail about how much everything cost and what I would do differently next time. But anyway, guys, sorry for that long ending. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I just want to again say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members help me create vlogs like this on this camera, help me towards gear. You guys get early vlogs and early content and things like that. If you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys. See you soon. Here we go, the last time coming in to him. How did that feel riding that the last time? What a ride. I've just said, definitely best ride in Orlando. What's been your favourite resort of the whole trip? Do you know what? Even though it's more nice, so it's okay, probably. And the theme of this series is 14 days enough to do Disney World and Universal in one holiday. Spend all day in the parks, so you got to take more breaks.